Hello again guys, today I'm going to be looking at the uh, the massive amount of ramshackle miniatures that uh, Curtis sent me. I've He sent me a few different sets, a few singles, and I'm decided I'm just going to lump them all together and show them all to you in, uh, in, in mass instead of doing small videos for each, each single set or figure by itself. Alright guys, so we're going to start with these singles that Curtis sent me. Um, I've got a whole bunch these are some some of these are some of his earlier ones and some of his uh version two for nuclear renaissance and uh, his mutants so we've got oh, i forgot what her name was but it's one of his uh steampunk nu nuclear ren styled uh female characters so it's got got some nice detail to it also has like uh could be used as a uh objective marker the way it's designed um his other one of his original other originals I believe this was from the original and not the version 2 release is oh, I forgot what his name was too but this is a guy on this uh, tra tracked uh, single person vehicle he looks like a mess uh, a courier of some sort he's got a, a package that he's carrying beautifully detailed um, beautiful piece one that I would had my eye on for a while so I was kind of excited that Curtis uh, threw this this guy in for me um, this one I know was designed for the uh, the version 2 uh, box set uh, this guy's uh, pretty much powered by an engine from the looks of it he's got a uh, chain mail rusty looking sword scrap iron shield great detail beautiful piece we got Mr. Mud, who's designed to look like a certain uh, mascot from a famous brand of peanuts. Also, also they have that Victorian flair, steampunk flair, for uh, in case you want to use them for a few other games. <clears throat> Here we have a man crab thingy. I forgot what his name was, but it's beautifully detailed mutant crab-like man. Details amazing. This one, I'm gonna have fun painting this one up. I have, a, I have a vision of what I want to try doing with it. I'm gonna see if it works out. Um, here's a set that I, I had my eyes on. They're called uh, drug, clean, drug crazed lunatics. At least they were when I was looking at them. He, I think they've had a few name changes, but they are pretty much armored psychopaths in straight jackets. These are also uh, what Curtis has been using for his uh, zombie apocalypse games. He's been painting these up as his zombies. Um, beautiful sight in the Tome of Tridolin's uh, artwork gallery as well as the book itself. Of uh, these guys painted up as zombies. He's got blood splatter. Some of them are painted up in a, a ghostly visage type of thing where it looks like, a, like they're specters and not really alive but ghosts, which is a beautiful paint job. This next is the, uh, I've asked, I asked for some of the uh, soldier pieces that he, he produces. This is the Command Squad, which I thought was a really cool group. Um, as you can see, none of them have heads. And there, there was one head that came with it, which is the, the, comma the Command Squad head. Um, well, I'll cover heads in a little bit as all the soldiers come, come without their heads attached. And Curtis has sprues and sprues sent for me of the different head styles and variations. So I can pretty much set these guys up however I want. We've got a... This one's a me field mechanic. Toolbox. Wrench. Field medic right here is what this one's supposed to be. Beautifully detailed. Great look. And then like I said, this one's the... Uh, this is the, the, the army commander body right here it's got the cape dignified pose so that's there's that guy um, these guys have a uh, long pole and I'm not going to even attempt to pronounce it's it's 
Bardi, I believe, is the correct pronunciation. And that's it's a it, you'll that's how you'll find it. Um, they all have these pole arms, and they, they make make a good guard style. As like again, like I said, the soldiers don't have their heads attached because there's a few different styles of heads that are available. And one of these guys has a missing arm right here. Has the is a two piece that uses this arm, which can be posed to make it look like he's waving you uh, waving you through the get checkpoint or whatever. So that's it's a great pose on that guy. So these come in sets of five and ten. But like Curtis says, he always add, throws in a few extras just in case there's damage in shipping, and it's great value for your money. Um, and then his first set of soldiers that he did which were his, uh, his heavy weapon troops. Let's slide the rest of these guys out of the way for this. There we go. And get the rest of these out. These, these are the ones I had issues with. Um, out of the ones that were sent, only a few were actually usable. Well, they're all usable. They all, they're all gonna require some work. The mold has an issue with getting these bubbles in the line, but Kurt, I, I was talking to Curtis about it. He said, yeah, that happens. And I usually send in a whole, an, a bunch extra with the soldiers just in case that's that becomes an issue as you can see not, none of the soldiers have heads or weapons attached there's a sprue of uh, weapon options that you can attach attach to these and I'll I'll go to those first since we're talking about them there's there's what well I believe there's only one heavy weapon body correct let's see yes one heavy weapon body right here and then the rest are the standard weapons. Standard weapon sprues look like this, give you a range of barrel options that are uh, highly compatible with your uh, 40k armies if you wanted to do a uh, alternative s space marine uh, style army. And then here's your heavy weapons sprue with the heavy weapon choices on it. Flamer, auto cannon. Plasma, large caliber rifle -y thing. Now onto the, the the different head sprues. Um, I believe these were the first ones that Curtis had put out. I only pull out a few of them. See, I have tons of heads in here. So let's pop a few. There we go. Pop a few out. These are your standard uh, post apoc style gas masky looking stuff. Great detail. These were the ones that were originally designed for that last group I just showed you of the the the, the, the troopers with the uh, <clears throat> hosed wep powered weapons. So those those were designed with them, and the next sets of heads were designed as part of the uh, Brotherhood of Ar Brotherhood of Iron Kickstarter, which I really like a lot of these heads because they've got the the armored gas mask look to them. That one had a flake on it. Let's see if I can get that off. That is actually a mist cast, I believe. Yeah, that's a mist cast, but like I said, I've got a, a whole bag of that same style head. So, let's try and get some detail on just one head. There we go, look at those heads. Nice detail. And then the other one that I really like is this one, it's also hooded, helmeted like that last one, but it's got a, uh, a skull-like look to it, like a, a robotic skull style, which is really neat looking, I think. So, it's almost like Term Terminator-ish, I would say, but great, great detail on that one as well. Um, that, that, these are the ramshackle figures, and I, I, like I said, it's a huge freaking pile of ramshackle miniatures that Curtis sent me. You all, you guys should all thank Curtis for the, his support of this, uh, of my blogging, and, um, the, 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 the materials he sent out for review. He, he's a pleasure to deal with, and he'll help, uh, help you guys with your, uh, purchases. If you d want certain pieces and parts, he's great at doing doing that and he'll help help you get what you need and work things out he has great deals 
He doesn't charge shipping. All his prices are flat price that include the shipping. So, like, the resins are... It sets a 5 and 10 at very reasonable pricing. So, check him out, ramshackle.co.uk. And uh, have a good day. Here's one last mini I forgot. Um, it's a, one of the bard-like characters that he's done. The, the special skill sets in Nuclear Renaissance are quite interesting. Um, this this is bionics, bard, and you can make just about any character you can imagine. It's got a this, as a tabletop game. It has a very RPG design in its its skill sets. So keep keep waiting for it. Thank you. So as you could see, there was a huge pile of ramshackle miniatures from Curtis. Uh, I want to thank him for his support and uh, helping me bring these these delights to you. I, I just love his sculpts. Um, I want to I thank him. I'm still working on reading through Tome of Turgland, Tridlands and everything, all his other material. I want, I'm, I'm formulating how I'm going to present that to you guys. I want to, and I just want to say thank you again. I can't say thank you enough to my support, to the supporters. Um, and to you, this is sub subscribers. So thank you. Um, check out Curtis and Ramshackle Games, ramshacklegames.co.uk. Thank you.